periodically the boiler will ask you to clean it. It will make, it'll ask you to do this by showing a message on the front screen. When you see this message, you need to carry out the following procedure. Press the large boiler button, and then press the boiler cleaning button. Then acknowledge the next menu by pressing yes. The heat exchange cleaning is now active and will remain so as long as you stay in this screen. It's important to wait until the three minute countdown timer has finished, at which point the boiler will reset its internal timer for the next cleaning session. Okay, so now that we've activated the boiler cleaning, it's a simple matter of carrying out the work. And to do that, I need two tools that come with your boiler. I need the boiler rake here, which as you can see has two teeth on the bottom. And I need the ashtray. Now, you should never open the combustion chamber door when the boiler is operating. That's very dangerous. Don't do it. Uh, make sure you only ever carry out the boiler cleaning when the boiler is switched off. And indeed, you won't be able to activate the boiler cleaning in the menu, which you've just seen, until the boiler is switched off. So now we're happy that we're safe and the boiler's switched off. I open this door here. I offer up the ashtray. Like so. And now using the rake with the teeth facing downward so as to leave a layer of ash to cover the, the floor of the combustion chamber, I'm going to go all the way to the back of the chamber. So you can see how far you have to insert the rake and then drag it all the way to the front, just like so. It's important that you clean all the way to the back of the chamber because if you don't, then the products of combustion could become blocked uh, and uh, not able to reach the chimney. Just clean the lip away in front of the door. Now we've got some good material for the compost heap. Put that to one side. Close the door again. And we're back ready for action.